Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the TinyDB database in MIT App Inventor. Using this, we can store the data in locally. Let me show you how we can use that database. So, you can see this is our first screen of our app. In the left side, just click on user interface and you can see the storage. And you will see here the TinyDB, this one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we can store and how we can fetch the data. Okay. So it's very simple. I'm going to use here one button to store data and which data we need to store. I'm going to store here that my text box, this, and I'm going to use two text box. So I'm going to see the name and their mobile number. Okay. I'm going to make that just center everything and just in that button, save contact like this. Okay. Now, User need to put their name here. So in the placeholder, I'm going to just add here the name. I'm going to use here the hint to display her name. And here I'm going to just hint that number like this. Okay. I'm going to change the background color of my screen is something like, first of all, whenever someone click on that save, okay, contact. So we need to store the name and their number. Okay. So go to the block. So someone click on button one. Okay. So we need to, you call it any TV. Click on it and you can see the store value. Call it. So they're asking the tag and the value. So the tag is our name. Okay. So the text box one dot text, this one. And the value we need to store from the text box two dot text. Simple. Now we have stored the value. Right. Now how we can access that value? So for that, I'm going to just create one more thing is uh, suppose we want now we have saved the contact number of a lot of people. I want to get the number from their name. So, I'm going to use here one more button. Okay. And I just say here in that button. Okay. And I'm going to use your one text box again to put the user's, uh, user's you know, name. And I'm going to use a label that will display the number. That is the number. Okay. And here we need to put their name to get it. Okay. So, go to the block. And this is the button 2. So whenever someone click on the button 2, okay, whenever they click on the button 2, then click on that TinyDB and you can see the GAD value. You see the GAD value. So we need to display that value in the label. So I'm going to use the label 1, label 1 dot text. So you can see this one, set label. And I'm going to use here this, call it here. From which tag we need to get the value? So we all know that this is the text box 3. This, this. Once the value, once we have the value, so as you can see here, so if if there is any value from that text, and then that will display in the label one. Okay. Now let me show you how this will work. Okay. Let's go to the design. Let me just show you AI companion. Uh, that will look good in your app. Okay. So don't worry about that. So let's let's put the name. Okay. Suppose uh, TCB. Okay. And the number is that I'm gonna just put here the one like this one. Okay, now click on save contact. Done. Now I'm going to just save another number of any other user like uh, Harry. And the number is suppose like this. Okay, let's click on save contact. Now I want to fetch the number of TCB. Okay, so I just need to type your TCB like this. Okay, and click on get number. And as you can see, TCB number is this. And we are saving here the all these number tag and values in the locally in their mobile phone users mobile phone so this is all about it so if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day be safe bye bye